Kaylee, first of all, thank you for being here. Uh, echo uh, Austin sentiments and, and Deke sentiments. Uh, we're all very proud of you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm honored to be here. Well, I, I guess I'll start with an easy question. Just how great does it feel to be uh, an Olympic medalist? Uh, I don't really think that that title has really set in yet. I'm still kind of floating up on cloud nine, so that name hasn't really, it doesn't feel real. It's still a surreal feeling. Well, that kind of leads into my next question. I know you started shooting at the age of eight and you've dreamed of this for many years. So now that you've gone to Tokyo, you, know, you won the silver medal, how does the reality of that match sort of the dream that you had in mind? I don't think I ever could have imagined what it actually was like. You know, I had this fantasy of performing on a big stage or what that feeling would be like you know, when I won the medal, and reality surpassed that times a thousand. I mean, you never can truly fathom what it'll feel like until you actually experience it, and it has just exceeded every expectation I've, I've had. You've had a quite uh, an exciting and whirlwind summer uh, traveling to the games. There was a lot of uncertainty even leading up whether they were even going to happen. Uh, of course, uh, an impressive homecoming, a parade in Greenbrier, uh, lots of folks greeting you at the airport, uh, lots of demands on your time for interviews and events like this. How would you describe that sort of excitement and, and everything that's gone on before and during and after the games? Yeah, I, I think my community has been either just as excited or more, even more excited than <laughs> I've been in the whole thing. I mean, the support I've had from my community and family and friends has been I, I mean, I would never expect them to go out of their way like they have. I mean, businesses wrote signs on their windows. They have banners. My, I mean, we had a parade before I left. It just, it's been awesome. And just the support, you know, because spectators can go to the Olympics. So to have the support of my community like that made it feel like I had like everybody was there with me. You feel like they were right there yeah. with you the yeah. whole time. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's shift gears a little bit. We've got some, you're going to be spending some time with some uh, young women from the youth shooting sports program here after we wrap up. But success doesn't happen overnight. You started at the age of eight. What does it take to be successful in competitive trap shooting? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think it, it did, you know, you have to figure out what success means to you. I mean, success for me is going to be on a different level than success to somebody else. So um, success for them may be competing at a collegiate level, or they may want to make a Team USA, or they may want to get a scholarship, or whatever that definition of success for you is, that's how you figure out how to be successful. You have to figure out what your goal is, and success looks different from, for everybody. So. Uh, my advice on that would be to figure out what your goal is on that and, and then kind of conjure up a plan on how to, how to get that goal. And anybody can do it with hard work. No matter what you choose, there's going to be hard times on it, whether you choose to go a collegiate level or you choose to go further than that or you choose to just do it in high school. It doesn't matter. There's going to be hardships, and uh, it, it's, you just have to stick with it. Nothing comes easy. Well, that kind of leads into the next question. I, I saw that... You started, but your dad, Tommy, who I alluded to earlier, filling up uh, pop cans with uh, water yeah. and shooting them with a BB gun. Uh, now you're an Olympic silver medalist. How would you describe that journey from a little girl shooting, uh, shooting Coke cans uh, on a pond bank to uh, standing on the podium in Tokyo? You know, I've always been a visual learner, so um, when my dad would fill up those Coke cans and I could watch the water explode or like the balloons pop or something, and um, when I got to shoot International Trap and I figured out that the finals had powder targets, it was game over. <laughs> I was like, I can do that. I need to make it there so I can shoot those. Um, so the journey has been, has been really fun. Um, my dad always made it fun for me. It was never a job to do, and I think because of that, I always enjoyed it, and I treated it like a job, even though... Um, it didn't. It never felt like a job, so it's always been a mostly enjoyable experience getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I got to ask this. I have experienced uh, not really competitive trap shooting, but but have shot with with friends and and. Mm -hmm. I feel pressure just to not embarrass myself sometimes. So I've got to ask you, how much pressure did you feel when you're on the line there in Tokyo? Um, to be honest, it was probably the least pressure I've felt in a competition. And I think it was because I had years of training 
up to that point that made me feel as prepared as I, I could be. Um, so when I got there, it was kind of just like, I know exactly what to do here. Yeah, you, you, all that hard work and training yeah. that you talked about. Yeah. You know, the Game and Fish Commission has a robust youth shooting sports program. What has competitive shooting meant to you, and what advice can you give to some of these young people coming up through our shooting sports program? So competitive shooting for me, I never saw it turning into what it has turned into. Um, you know, it's, it's, and it can be an extremely expensive sport, and I know that a lot of people, um, it, it defers a lot of people that way, but what I would say is it's a very rewarding sport. There's a lot of lenience on age. You can start really young, and you, you know, there's not really an age limit as, as long as you can see. Um, so my advice on that would be is you can go as far as you want to go in that, and I truly mean that with my whole heart. I mean, there are sponsors, there are, there are foundations like the Arkansas Game and Fish that will help you get there. I mean, I know they, Arkansas Game and Fish offers scholarships to help get to a collegiate level, and then you get in front of those, the right people, and, and you know, now you're shooting for Team USA or, or whatever it is you want to do with that. So. Um, truly, when I say if you have a goal, stick to it because there's always a way to figure out how to do that. So you're a competitive shooter, but I, I know from personal experience we've dove hunted together. Uh, what are some of your uh, favorite types of hunting? So it would have to be duck is my number one thing to hunt. I love duck hunting and mainly to watch my dogs. I, I have three dogs that I like to hunt. Um, and then it would be dove hunting after that because I love to eat duck. That's probably one of my favorite wild game to eat. Um, and just the whole atmosphere and experience of, of dove hunting and duck hunting and watching the dogs work and then having the environment that you have in it. Um, yeah, any, any wing shooting is, is my favorite. Any that, action. That, that makes sense that <laughs> yeah. wing shooting might be your yeah. thing. Yeah, anything that's flying, <laughs> I like to shoot. <laughs> All right, Kaylee, last question. Uh, what, what's next for you? Do you have uh, your sights set, so to speak, on uh, Paris in 2024? Or what, what, what's next for Kaylee Browning? You know, there's, there's still that gold title floating around out there. So All right, I'm glad see. to hear that. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> All right, Kaylee Browning, thank you so much for being here. And now I think there are some uh, young women that are eager to receive some instruction from you. Absolutely. So thank you so much, Kaylee. We'll make our way to the line now and uh, let you uh, pass, the, uh, pass the torch a little bit. Pass the torch, good. Thanks, Kaylee, really appreciate it.